have an awesome SaaS Pro Facebook group. We've got the link in below. It's completely free to join. We want you to join. We want you in as a SaaS Pro. We also have guides in here. We give away lots of free stuff. So be sure to jump in our Facebook group, facebookgroup.com forward slash groups forward slash SaaS Pro, and we'll see you inside the group. I am super excited to talk about the Marketer's Toolkit because I am a user of the toolkit. So we utilize this tool for our business to white label our high level software. What this software is doing is it's taking us to an upper next level, or we could say we're leveling up with high level by adding real customization to the high level software. So the high level software in itself is phenomenal. It's great. We love it. We do all of this awesome stuff to really enhance the high level software, which is really just enhancing our user experience with the marketers toolkit. There's actually a couple of really cool things that you can do here. There is a theme builder, which is only $97 a month. And then there's the agency plan, which runs $297. And then, of course, you can upgrade to a lifetime deal. For us, we're on the agency plan. But in this video, I want to talk about the theme builder membership plan. This is just building out your theme. And then, of course, agency really just lets you go a little bit further with building out that theme by adding some customization. Okay, so let's go in and take a look at it. Inside, the builder theme, you'll see I'm inside the builder theme. And this is the $97 a month. And if you don't do anything, this is just a great plan in itself. And so in this plan, I want to show you some really cool things that we've done. The first thing that you are going to want to do is pick out your navigation. What's the navigation? That is how your customers are navigating throughout your site. If they're navigating inside the software, what does that look like? What does that look like for your users? How is their experience? You're able to customize things like colors and make it your own, brand it to yourself using the theme builder. So I'm going to show you right here. You have a top navigation theme. So if you want to have all of your buttons at the top, these are right here. If you want to do the side navigation theme, you can do the side navigation. And then, of course, the sassy sidebar, which seems to be the most popular. I'm seeing more people use this. You can just pick your color or then you can go in and customize it. So any of these dashboard themes, you can pick your top navigation theme. You can set presets to how you want it to look. So you can set any of these presets. And then you can go in and actually customize these presets as well. Here's the presets, the left side, the colors right here. These are already pre-made, but if you want to actually go in and customize these, this is when you toggle on the dials and you actually can customize it. So I'm going to use the sassy theme real quick. So you can see we set our preset to this one. We liked the white bar and the colors. But what we did was we went into customize and we went in. And if you look on each of these tabs, we customized this to our brand font, our brand colors. So when you click on the dashboard, you'll see, OK, these are the buttons and this is how we've colors our dashboards. And then you can see the card headers, what these are looking like, how we've customized them. Now, I'm not going to show you how we did all of ours, but the bottom line is you can see when you go to our setup, this is included. Now, these buttons that you're seeing at the top, these are in the customization. And I do have a video I'll attach here on how to use these customization buttons. That is in the customizer. But as far as the fonts and the color layout, this is all in the actual theme builder, which is really cool. So you've got your dashboard themes, then you've got dashboard additions. So let's go to login themes. Look at this. You can create your login page for your agency. So you can select a couple of different presets. And here you've got login translation wording. You can activate this. You've got loading animations. This is what I love. We went in. What's the loading app animation? This is the image that people see while it's loading and going to the next page. Dashboard graphics and colors. This is when you come in and customize your funnels. And when you click on customize, you can see how you can click this and set specific colors for each of the funnels. And these are your opportunities. Again, you've got launch pad items. You can select which ones you can customize. You can rename menu items, which is really cool. You can hide menus, location menu icons. Look at this. You can come in here and 
set your icons. This is what shows up on the left side. You can only use this on the left side with icons. So you can come in and customize, but then if you really want to add your own icons, you can come in here and add your own graphical icons to really brand it. Customize menu. These are your agency icons as well. So you can customize your agency icons. When you log into your agency account, you can have something pretty to look at. Then of course, here's your favicon. You can load that up as well for your settings. Location logos, we talk about that. So be sure to check out the location logos. This is basically where your customer's logo can show up or a different logo can show up based on location ID. All right, then inside of this, you also have hiding elements. You can hide all kinds of elements. You can hide the cards. You can rename the dashboard card headers. So let me show you, there's not visuals on here. But if you don't want opportunities, you can rename opportunities. You don't like pipelines, you can, you can label it money. You can come in and really customize your whole technical text in here as well. You can hide buttons. You can hide the launch pad items. All kinds of fun things in here. The opportunities, you can style the horizontal bar. This is the bar that's basically slide through when they have a long opportunities. Hide elements in the opportunity card. Opportunity card styles. You can come in here and customize these styles as well. And then, of course, you can have icons for tags and conversations. This actually shows you how to do this. You can come in and style conversations based on contacts. Little setup here you can see on our tags. You can see what we've done here. The opportunity card tag styling as well. This is how you want to style these. So if I were to create an item, you could see I could put in the name, the icon the color and we could rename it. So very fun stuff when it comes to customizing. So the theme builder is really great for customizing your actual look and feel and theme of your dashboard, your layout, if you want it to the left or the top. You can really make this software look like your own and make it functionable to the way your agency or your business is running to make it available and easy to view for the customers that you're serving inside your SaaS industry. Theme Builder is super awesome and we'll cover the Go High Level Customizer. We do these in groups of details, but when you upgrade to this is where you start to begin to see awesome features. You've got this feature section where you can customize all kinds of things by adding buttons. I'll give you a great idea and the opportunities. We actually use this date contact button, show date and opportunity. So when the opportunity is showing up now, we have a date filler. I come from a sales background, so I'm going to know how long that lead has been sitting in our pipeline and has it moved to another pipeline. And I want to know what date that actually entered the pipeline and how long is it taking us to close. So there's some really cool features in here and you can go down these. We'll talk about these in different customizer videos, but the dashboard buttons that I showed you were the buttons that we created. What I love about the customizer is that you can have an agency menu. So as an agency, I can see something different. I can do customizations on my agency. I can have a global location menu, and I can even customize my user menu. The main thing in here is when you start to get set up is entering the code correctly. So that way you can see a draft mode. And then in the GHL customizer, you can actually see this when it's in draft mode. So right now you can see that it's published, but it's really cool because when you make these changes, it'll show up when you view it in the draft mode. So you can always work on the back end. And then, so right here, we can open a draft mode preview once we're set up and it'll show the draft mode. It'll go right into the account and it'll show right here, you're in draft mode right now. And so you'll see this little gray button when you're in draft mode. Well, I could go on and on and on about how awesome the Marketer's Toolkit is, but if you click on the link below, I've got an awesome promo code. Just use a SAS Pro to get a little special discount from me directly. Click on that link, put in the promo code and enjoy using the Marketer's Toolkit. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Oh. And don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and jump into our awesome Facebook group.